Is your phone in need of a software update? Welcome to iPhone Simplified, and I can show you how to fix that. First, we're going to pick up our phone and locate settings. Once there, we're going to scroll down to General, and then go to Software Update. Once in here, we're going to see is Automatic Updates turned on. That's a personal preference. Typically, I would recommend turning that on. To turn on automatic updates, we're just going to tap on off, download iOS updates, and I'm going to select install. In this case, because it wasn't turned on to automatically update, I'm going to go back and right down here where it says download and install, I'm going to click on that. Enter our passcode to unlock the device. And then it will ask you, do you want to use cellular data? or don't use cellular data. In this case, I have an unlimited plan, so I'm going to use cellular data. Typically, this may go a bit quicker. Typically, it takes about a half hour to do the software update, and it'll go through multiple steps, including downloading and preparing update. While these steps are running, you may use your phone per normal, make calls, go online, whatever. It'll let you know when it's ready to install, and we'll get to that right shortly here. Sometimes, once it's complete, it'll ask you if you want to install now. If not, you may want to check in every now and then by going back into settings under general and then software update. Once in here, you can see we got the software update and it says install now. In this case, I'm gonna click install now and again, I'm gonna give it a little while to do its thing. It's gonna verify the update, go through a couple steps and then it will reboot once it's all done. Again, I'm gonna cut for a bit and we'll come back to it once it's done installing. And voila, your phone is updated. Like I said, this process may take half hour, typically. Could be closer to an hour depending on your internet connection. And once the update is done, unless you're doing a major software update, like going from iOS 15 to iOS 16, it should look almost identical. If there's any new features, it will prompt you once you're back in the device, and you should be good to use your device per normal. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.